हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू रोजी मैथ्स क्लास दिस वीडियो इज फॉर क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट्स एंड वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद चैप्टर नंबर वन लार्ज नंबर्स अराउंड अस दिस इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ द न्यू एनसीआर टी टेक्सट बुक गणित प्रकाश फॉर क्लास सेवन सो द चैप्टर स्टार्ट विद वन पॉइंट वन अ लैक वराइटीज दर इज अ फार्मर नेम्ड ईश्वर अप्पा हु लर्नस फ्रॉम हिज फेलो विलेजर्स दैट इंडिया वंस हैड अबाउट वन लैक वराइटीज ऑफ राइस but now only a few remain a seed bank nearby is working to preserve 100 of those indigenous varieties so ishwar appa he shared this incident with his daughter roxy and son s2 s2 is amazed and asked if someone tried one rice variety every day could they taste all 1 lakh varieties in a lifetime of 100 years and this leads to a math based thinking question so this story basically connects math with real life here you would learn how large 1 lakh is 1 lakh is 1 followed by 5 zeros so you would get a feel of large numbers also you would learn to read and write six digit and seven digit numbers in 1.2 land of tens you would explore the concept of place value using imaginary calculators with special buttons so they have given some imaginary calculators with some fancy names for example the thoughtful thousands it has only plus 1000 buttons so it can add only plus 1000 at a time similarly the tedious tens has a plus 10 button it would add only plus 10 at a time the other imaginary calculators given are handy hundreds creative chitti systematic sippy so these are some imaginary calculators given with special buttons just for the learning purpose in 1.3 of crores and crores you would compare the indian and the american that is the international number system focusing on naming large numbers and comma placement here you will learn about the indian system and the american system of naming numerals and placing commas indian system uses terms like 1000 10000 1 lakh 10 lakhs 1 crore 10 crores and 1 arab or 100 crores so you would have four digit to 10 digit numbers now for american system it starts with 1000 and it goes till 1 billion so 1000 10000 100000 1 million 10 million 100 million and then 1 billion also you would learn about the comma placement in the indian system commas are placed to group the digits in a 3 2 2 2 pattern from right to left and in the american system the digits are grouped uniformly in a 3 3 3 3 pattern from right to left so this is all about 1.3 in 1.4 exact and approximate values you would learn about rounding off numbers sometimes exact numbers are not needed an approximate number gives a good enough idea Say for example there are 732 students in your school and your principal wants to order sweets so she might order 750 sweets for 732 people to make sure everyone gets one so that is called rounding off rounding off can be uh, rounding up or rounding down rounding up means using a slightly bigger number than the actual for example the principal ordered 750 sweets rounding down means using a slightly smaller number than the actual for example a shopkeeper may say an item cost around 450 rupees instead of saying it's 470 so that is rounding down in this section you will learn about rounding up numbers to nearest thousand lakh and crore 1.5 patterns in products here roxy and s2 they are playing with multiplication so they find an interesting technique for multiplying a number by 10 and 1000 for example 116 into 5 so to calculate this 5 can be written as 10 divided by 2 116 into 10 divided by 2 do the cancellations and that would be 58 into 10 which is 580 so using this method you can find quick ways to calculate the products in 1.6 did you ever wonder you would explore fun and surprising questions using large numbers for example could the entire population of mumbai fit into 1 lakh buses what do you think so you need to think would the entire population fit into 1 lakh buses next example is the rms titanic ship carried about 2500 passengers 
can the population of mumbai fit into 5000 such ships so you would have such interesting questions so more questions are like find out if you can reach the sun in a lifetime can you count 1 million coins in a day so in this section you need to think and create more such fun questions and share them with your class so this was all about chapter number 1 there are questions given in figure it out and in text questions that we will be solving in our upcoming videos hope you find this video helpful thank you